Hey, my name is Kyle Hodge, and today I'm going to be explaining to you how to uninstall and install motherboards. Last thing is removing the heatsink and fan off of the processor and then removing the processor itself. The heatsink has a latch here that you can unlatch by lifting this up. Just like that. After it's unlatched, you can remove on the top side where it's connected to two or three plastic pins. After you remove the fan and heat sink, the next step is taking out the processor. The processor is located here, and you'll notice that there's a little metal bar and, and even a little drawing of locked and unlocked. When the bar is down, the processor is locked into place and secure. When you push this bar up, it is now safe to remove the processor. There you go. The last step is to unscrew all nine screws that are holding the motherboard to the case. After that, the motherboard may be removed from the case and set aside. Now that you've removed the motherboard from the case, you can go ahead and put it in a box or give it to a friend or sell it on eBay or whatever you want to do with it because guess what? You won't need it anymore. Here's the new motherboard. But before you install this, there's one last thing you have to do. Remove the back plate that was configured for the old motherboard. You can just simply push it out like that and pop in the back plate for the new motherboard. 